It's another Monday, and it's another trip to Donato's on the Ohio IMG Sports Network, and it's time for another edition of the Solid Show Slice. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Ohio football is now 3-4 and four and 1-2 one and two on the season after a 31-13 loss to Bowling Green. Up next, another home game against the Akron Zips. Akron's 4-2 and 2-0. And two and oh. They knocked off Miami this past Saturday. On Monday, as always, we cut it up with Coach Solich talking about Bowling Green, and we'll preview Akron. So here's our Solid Show Slice your impressions of what happened on Saturday? Well, it um, came down to a, a few factors, really. Um, one was we um, were able to move the ball, but we did not finish uh, drives off with points. And the bottom line, regardless of how statistically well you play in terms of winning total yardage, rushing yardage, passing, yardage, f first down, number of plays, all those things mean uh, absolutely nothing if uh, you're not ahead on the scoreboard at, um, at the end. And that's kind of what happened to us. We gave up um, four explosive plays. Uh, those four explosive plays led to either were uh, at the end of those were either points or led to points. And uh, other than that, we, we played pretty well defensively and uh, we moved the ball well enough offensively to win. Our special teams held up well. Um, so it was a frustrating day. 13-4 on the season, 6-0 and for the first time in three years in Mid-American Conference play. You knock off Miami in five and you roll Bowling Green in three. Uh, good weekend, but, but the overriding thought of this is you're playing great volleyball right now. Why? I think we're really focusing one week at a time, just really working on improving. And that's the thing right now, regardless of our record, regardless of where we sit in conference, we have to get better. And right now, all our focus is on Ball State, a very good team, played them on Friday. I think they're 5-1 and one in conference right now, and we're looking forward to a great match against them this weekend. And Kelly Lombardi just keeps doing what Kelly Lombardi does. Second straight double-double in the match against Bowling Green, so that means the other one was against Miami. Eighth on her season, and uh, it's been a big a career for her when it comes to double-double. 57 on her career. Talk about uh, how difficult it is to attain that double-double and why she's able to do it so consistently. I think what's great about Kelly is she's just a terrific all-around player. I mean, that's Sometimes it goes unnoticed by the fans. Sometimes if you're in the stands, we, or even as coaches, you know, we get excited to see that, that great swing or that great block or that great serve, the, the swing or the touch that ends the rally. And sometimes we can all overlook when well, she's passing really well. The difference in her passing the ball within three feet of the net versus passing the, the ball 10 feet off the net dramatically affects our ability to win that point. Uh, defensively, I mean, you look at her on Friday night, she had 26 dicks. Hmm. Not a Libro. As an outside hitter, she had 26 dicks. That's a phenomenal number for someone who spends half of their time out there on the front row when you're not, you're not going right. to get as many. And she's done that throughout her career. And I think, I don't know that our entire team, I don't know that our entire coaches, program, school, fans, we don't all understand how good she is and we won't fully get it until she's gone. Let's talk about just your impressions on, on what Terry Bowden's been able to do with that program uh, in the Rubber City. Yeah, he's, he's done a very good job. Um, you know, Terry's a good coach, comes from a great uh, uh, coaching background, obviously, and, and um, you know, he's got a lot of connections uh, in, the, in the business, and uh, they do get transfers in, and, and uh, has, has uh, done a good job of structuring his recruiting. They play hard, they play fundamentally sound, they've had a good season to this point. Well, they're athletic, you know, they're, um, they're guys that can run on, on both sides of the ball. They've, um, they've got really good linemen, uh, both offensively and defensively. They've got two uh, uh, really uh, outstanding running backs, um, a quarterback that uh, is an experienced quarterback uh, for them. Um, you know, he got banged up a little last game, what his status is for this one. Um, I'm not quite uh, quite sure. Um, but, you know, they're, they're forcing turnovers from the defensive end of it. They're, uh, and that usually comes from a lot of good team speed, a lot of good tackling. And, and so they're, uh, they're a good football team. 